Okay, um, I'm Keith Cabillo, or on FA, I'm, I'm Celia, and I've had a few people ask me about the yarn tails, and ask me how much they are, how do you make them, how can you get yarn to look that way, <laughs> um, it's actually not as hard as everyone think it, thinks it is, like, I've made about four or five yarn tails so far, um, this one is my first one. It is a generic fox, raccoon, wolf, whatever tail, I don't know. But it is just silver, neon green, and black yarn. And basically it's just simply brushed out. You want to, when you have a yarn tail, you want to maintain it constantly. Um, you want to keep brushing it. I mean, I'm not like, I don't know everything about yarn tails, I'm not a genius towards that, but I do know basics. Um, but I've had a few people ask me recently, more recently, on how do you make them? So I'm making a small video on using one of my commissions as an example. Um, basically what I do is I start out and knit a tube, depending on how long I want the tail, or the commissioner wants the tail to be. Um, Sorry if the video is a little crappy and the audio is just weird and there's a weird- if there's a weird bubbling noise in the background, that's just my old laptop. Um, my newer laptop recently broke, so I'm using- I dug my old laptop out of storage <laughs> to use it. Um, okay, so back on topic. Basically, what I do is I knit a tube and I- I'm trying to fix one of my mistakes right now, actually, because I forgot to knot a certain area when I was supposed to do that. Um, basically I knit a hollow tube. It's with double pointed knitting needles, usually around size 9 or size 8 for the knitting needles. It stretches out. It's like the same thing you would use for if you were to knit a stocking or a sock or if you're gonna do a s circular scarf. It's really simple. Even a beanie. It's the same concept. You just basically knit. It stretches. Um, and this one's going to be a long tail, um, and when you finish knitting the tube for the yarn tail, you basically just latch hook yarn on. It's kind of hard with the detailing, but um, you basically just tie yarn on. Um, you don't tie its individual pieces, but you do in clumps of three or four at a time. This allows for a thickness to the tail. That is, that's more natural than, um, like, if you use the fur, the faux fur. And basically what you do, I'm tr finishing a clump that I had started earlier. Basically is, what you do is you take, when you're ready for it, and you work in sections. You take, like, a small section like this, hold it in your hand, usually like that, and you use a fur brush. Let me clean that yarn off. Um, but yeah, it's pretty quick, pretty simple. It does take the most time with the um, brushing because you have to brush this entire tail once you have it covered. So basically, you just brush it out like that. And sometimes you do get hurt, you do pierce your hand with depending on how sharp the brush is. But as you can see, it's slowly getting softer. It's bleeding together. This isn't the best tutorial, but it's kind of simple once you get to it. And you just brush until it's no longer scraggly or wavy as I, I see it. Now, without a hair straightener, you, you technically are supposed to straighten these with a hair straightener um, to get them to keep straight, but I don't own a hair straightener. I've never needed to. My hair's pin straight, does a weird, weird flip on the side, so I don't have one. Um, I have a curly iron, but not a hair straightener, so I don't have anything to straighten it. Um, so a hair straightener is a plus. But yeah, as you can see, it's kind of got the waves going, but you keep brushing out and it'll go away. Sometimes you can dampen it with um, a little bit of warm water and wait for it to dry or brush it as it's drying and it will go away. But yeah, this is just 100% polyester or 100% acrylic yarn, 
Um, the yarn, specific yarn that I use, that I really like the color variation of, is the um, Simply Soft, Karen Brand Simply Soft. This is a good, cheap, good for the money. You can probably use about two to three skeins of yarn for one tail, depending on what you want. And the yarn tails, the beauty of it is that you can make them any size, any color. There's a wide range for the color. Um, for that, you can cut them in different lengths for the fur. Like, you can have it long, you can have it short, it's all up to you for making it. Um, I also made one short tail, which I made into a bobtail. Um, it's... I'm trying... I'm planning on selling it. It's, I don't know if I want to keep it, but one of my friends wore it and he kind of liked it, so it made me happy. But this one's just a simple, regular bobtail. It's hard to see detail, but it's, it's kind of fun. And what I do with all the yarn tails is at the very end, right at the top, I will knit, or not knit, I'll <laughs> braid about 12 to 16 pieces of individual yarn, and I'll braid them together, and then I will um, tie them onto, double knot them onto the yarn tail itself, and just brush out the loose ends. Like right here, that's a loose end from the tip, from the um, braid. And you can just slip that right onto a belt loop. Um, this one's actually up for sale if anyone's interested. Just a short bobtail. It's very fluffy. Um, the green, black, and silver one is up for sale if anyone's interested as well. But it's up to anyone, really. Um, if anyone has any quish questions or comments about this, feel free to leave a comment below or send me a private message either on FA or on here. Again, this is just to show these are the tails that I make, and I really enjoy making them. I mean, yes, it's time consuming. It takes me anywhere from two weeks if I do work on that just nonstop. Um, or it takes me up to three months, depending, because I do have two part-time jobs and working on art commissions and work going to school full-time. So, oh, and I also with my fursuit building, because I'm debuting my new suit head at Further Confusion coming up, and I'm really excited. I'm almost done with her. I just have to add a little bit of neck fur, but I can show a little bit of a sneak peek as I get up. But yeah, this is my new suit head. This is Twitchy, Twitch 2.0. Um, I haven't brushed her yet, so she's kind of really bleh. But yeah, um, this is my second suit head. She has squeak toys in the cheeks. It's kind of hard to hear, but um, she does have squeak toys in the cheeks. Um, sorry, a spider kind of just bit my back. Um, <laughs> Um, and her nose is very plush. It's made out of the upholstery um, foam, like the head. It's very squishy and covered with fleece, so it's kind of child-friendly. And it also squeaks. So it just adds to the cuteness. Her big smile going, ah, like that. Um, it can fit any head, basically, head size. Um, I'm a 21, 22, depending on if I braid my hair, because my hair takes up a lot of space in the suit. Um, but it just slips right on, like, this shows how much I have to add, just that section right there, so. Um, I may be selling her after FC as a whole character, just so I can s practice on a new character, new, um, new fursuit better my skills because I love costuming. I've been doing costuming since 2006 and I want to keep doing it. So she may be up for sale as a whole fursuit character. Um, if it gets for um, if it gets over a certain amount, I will add in one of my sculptures that I made of Twitchy. This is one of my first sculptures. How's a pouch? Um, it's hand-painted, hand-sculpted, completely hollow. Ow. 
It's um, used. I used a low fire glaze and um, color glaze, and then did a high fire coating over it. So this I did in my ceramic class. I have a lot of fun with ceramics. Um, it has the year on the back, bottom, and the date. So um, if anyone's interested, shoot me a note. Again, after further confusion, I may be selling her. This is my first suit. She has an upgraded head. She's going to have upgraded hands. So they're going to basically have squeak toys in the palms. So we shall see. Um, I'm going to make them four fingers this time instead of um, five fingers because four fingers are more toony. She's got a little bit of a hair tuft, but it's not the best. Um, I've never put hair on a fursuit, so it's kind of just there. Um, so yeah. Thank you guys for stopping by. This is about Yarndale and the suit. So, have a good night. <laughs>